Uh, good morning everyone, maganda umaga po. Uh, welcome to the Daily Grind. It's a very beautiful Wednesday. Ayan, um, ganda, ng, ganda ng araw. Hindi nga alam mainit dito sa Cebu ngayon. Hopefully yours there is okay also. <clears throat> um, yesterday, uh, markets were doing well. Even the international market. Sorry, sorry. Ang, <laughs> ang pusa ko sa likod. Right. Let me just get them and put them outside really quick. One moment. <laughs> Sorry about that. Ang kukulit eh. <laughs> right. So, um, yeah. Uh, today, we're gonna be talking about uh, the art of doing test buy. May nag-request ito on one of our lives. Um, was that two days ago? Um, uh, you specifically requested, Sir Lloyd, uh, can you talk more about um, doing test buys? So, I wrote that down. And yun yung pag-uusapan natin ngayon. So, today is gonna be a trading skill uh, discussion. And we'll talk about test buy why I do test buys, um, what is the purpose of it, and how I do it, how I do test buys, and what are the advantages of doing test buys, right? And my disadvantages din naman siya, but I use it uh, a lot in my trading. So, yeah, uh, we'll talk about that today. Alright, so before we talk about that, and um, let's let the audience kick in muna. So, yeah, I'm gonna read the comments really quick. Alright. Here we go. And Edgar Galang, good morning, sir. Idol, check the check this out. Omatake ng Iran yari and Nasdaq negative two percent as of now. Ang golden oil check ingat ang lahat. All right. So yeah, that's one of the updates that we want to talk about. Um, yeah. Uh, stocks are gonna drop, and that's why I'm shorting already. So if you're in the international market, if uh you're already in the international market, if you just um. Lang, Open ka yung international market ko. Ah. So Beyond Meat, a uh, up, little update lang, right? So Beyond Meat, remember I recommended Beyond Meat, was that two days ago? On the green? And there it is yesterday, nanalo siya ng 12%. So congratulations sa mga pumasok kay Beyond Meat when I recommended it. Um, very big win for you, so congratulations. Kaso nga lang, yung markets are, uh, might, markets might drop. Because of today, so I'm shorting Apple already. So if you want to earn in this, a uh, little discussion lang. If you want to earn uh, in this kind of situation where there's uncertainty, there's an impending war, you can do short selling. What I'm doing right now is I'm short selling Apple, and so negative point thirty eight lang naman ako. So it's still okay. Uh, I'm still expecting for it to drop. Hindi naman kasi instant mag drop yan. But with the with the developments right now. Uh, I think stocks are gonna go down. So l- look at these stocks, especially nasa index ng US, uh, mga index stocks nila. Those are the most gonna uh, are the most affected ones. So if you short them, then most probably you're gonna be earning uh, in them also. Okay. So yun po. Uh, very important for for you to know that you can still earn in this kind of situation. Right. Let me just prepare the slides. Uh, for the discussion today. So thank you so much, Edgar Galang, for the heads up. We're going to be talking about that tomorrow. I'm going to exer- observe the market tonight and then we'll see what what is going to be the reaction and we'll dis- discuss about it. Most probably, it's going to drop. So um, stop muna. Do not go against the flow. If ever magda-drop yan, wag muna kayo mag-buying. Uh, if you can, just short sell, right? Um, our Lauren Mendoza, good morning, Sir Lloyd and Laika, JFC, ISM, Starbucks. Thanks po. Let's check these out. Si Starbucks nakalipad rin. Um, again, Starbucks is one of the uh, companies that are going to be affected. I don't want you guys to trade and be aggressive uh, today in the market. Uh, if you want to be aggressive, at least mag short sell kayo. Junior Kino, good morning, Sir Lloyd. Good morning, then Francis Lohonko, good morning, Sir Lloyd. Good morning, then Nico. Uy, ayan. Um, sorry, natakpan yung comment. Uh, Nico Uy, hi coach, looking good na ba si MPI and PCOR? Actually, I recommended PCOR a few days ago, if you remember. And doing good si PCOR, nag-pull back lang si PCOR. Uh, yan, so umakyat si PCOR and it's doing good. 
I mean, doing a pullback and then let's wait lang muna on a uh, clearer pullback and then bounce and then that's where we ta test PCOR after. Okay? So, yeah. But with the market rate now, kahapon, negative pa rin tayo sa net foreign buying and selling. So, meaning locals lang ang nagpapaangat ng, uh, ng market natin. Meaning, wala pong momentum pag ganyan. And especially now with the uncertainties, we're expecting the market to really not rally. So, it's gonna be a a slow start of the for the market in 2020 yun po yung nakikita ko right um but hindi po ako manghuhula it's just that these have happened before and this is how the market is um uh, uh uh reacts this is how the market reacts and that's what we are expecting with the market right now so it's going to be a slow 2020 but don't worry overall the companies in the uh, in the philippines are doing well so um when the tension subsides everything should go back up to normal ulit. So, yeah. Wala namang problema dito sa Pilipinas. Candice Vacas, good morning, sir. Good morning din. Withdraw na ba muna tayo, PSC, sir? Salamat po. Jojo Ambas. <laughs> right, Jojo, mag-international market ka na. Mas magaling ka na mag-trade, eh, di ba? So, ma uh, ma matalas na to si Jojo. Um, mas magiging matalas kayo sa day trading tsaka sa international market. Golden oil is gonna be trending uh, the next coming days because of that. And yun yung mga umaangat kasi pag ganito may, um, pag ganito na issues ang meron eh di ba so John Lampagos good morning sir Lord blessed and safe Wednesday morning po good morning din sa inyo uh, Remejio Ray Pakulaba Cabrera ha ba ng name mo maayong buntag sir Lord maayong buntag then Junior Aquino beyond already profit can I close already thanks for your advice congratulations Junior Aquino we recommended did we did recommend beyond um, I would say yes, just sell it for now because of the uncertainties. I don't want you to trade in this kind of market, especially sa stocks. Um, especially ngayon, nagagulo, nagagulo ang mundo. Um, stay in cash muna. Stay in cash or if you know how to day trade, then that's where you do day trade or you can short other positions. Sabiyan, take profits na. Okay na yan. All right. uh, Sharon Charles Daswani, good morning. Sir Lloyd, insights po kay Ali BDO. And MBT, salamat po. Um, PSC, I think it's gonna pull back today. Mas marami pong magbebenta ngayon. So, uh, I do not recommend trading in the PSE right now. Jolly Caris has joined. Good morning, Joseph Tanel. Good morning, Sir Lloyd. FOMO, Golden Oil. Nga, tingnan natin si Golden Oil, ha? Right, so let's check out this, the charts of gold. Right, pag lumilipad si gold, ayan, 1%. 2% na si gold, lumilipad. Pag lumilipad si gold, whoo, tindi. <laughs> right, so ganda na sa ang charts ni gold. Um, for this kind of, ano, for this kind of, um, this kind of situation, yeah, uh, pag lumakit si gold, you know, stocks usually are gonna go down. So we're expecting the uh, index to drop tonight. So short na kayo, mag short na kayo. Um, I have a video. This is gonna. Uh, this is gonna be very helpful for you. Also, um, let me search for this before they start in discussion. Today is gonna be about trading. So, mga um, pasensya na if yung mga followers ko na mga not about trading is gonna be nosebleed about the topic. But this is there's opportunity in this, and this is a very hot topic. Yung gera kasi. So I have a video how to earn uh, during during crash, right? Financial, financial Freedom 101. Did I upload that? Uh, the average down. Nope, 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 nope. Right, so I have a video in ano, in PSE. I, I'll, I'll just post about it today. Basta one of the, ano, pag ganito is gold is umaakyat. One of the safe havens, right? And the term natin na safe haven. Ito yung mga, mga positions. Ito yung mga assets na nag-gain pag ganito ang may mga uncertainties when there's a stock market crash or there are war ang umaakyat po sa si JPY USD so let's check out JPY USD uh, bumabagsak si USD JPY meaning si US dollar contra Japan bumabagsak so USD JPY should be dropping right now and there it is uh, so that confirms that the market um, there is uncertainty in the market pag bumabagsak ang value ni US dollar contra ni Japan um, this is the safe haven kasi um, opposite nito is Japan and USD uh, so JPY and USD should go up yung pair na yan but sadly sa mga may forex wala tayong JPY uh, USD dito sa eToro but other forex meron pong ganyan 
But yeah, you can short this anyways. Pwede rin ka, pwede rin ka rin na kumita para dito sa if you're in here in Itoro. So, ito yung safe haven. Isa, uh, your DJPY is gonna be dropping so we can short that. And there it is. It's already starting to drop. Uh, sorry. There it is. It's already starting to drop si USD JPY. Right? So, meaning si Japan, USD, uh, bumabagsak kontra Japan. Si Japan, nagmamahal yan. Uh, nagmamahal yan pag may ganitong uncertainties. And then si USD, US dollars, bumabagsak. And it's dropping and it's dropping right now. It's dropping really big. Right? So, congratulations sa mga um, nagsushort, uh, marunong mag-forex. Uh, you should be able to earn in this already. Kay Golden, um, taas na ni gold, grabe and oil, oil should be right, mag full tank na kayo guys ha, oil is up 3.84% 4.19% and still going up 4.20, still going up right now so that's how hot these are right now so huwag kayo maingit but if you know how to day trade there's still money in this kung gusto nyo po mag trade ngayon it's very hot right now so look for intraday uptrends pullbacks and bounces and then you should be earning in these uh, assets today. Okay. So, medyo na pahaba ang introduction natin because of that but that, that, that's a very ano that these are very uh, hot topics right now and it's nice that um, Edgar mentioned about this so we can talk about that. Um ayun. Um Delia Potesdal Nieva, good morning Sir Lloyd from London. Good morning po sa inyo diyan. Ed Sierra Jr., good morning Sir Lloyd. Third straight day na ako nakakanood ng live. All right, that's good to know. Um, Benson Mosisa joined uh, Rose Martinez Good morning uh, Archie Cabernay Good morning Michael Fardo Good morning Sir Lloyd Good morning Then Al Ma uh, Al uh, Musa Good morning Sir Lloyd Insights din po kay Mars Gen PLC Let's check it out Napako na ko Dito sa positions na to Alright These are good companies Nonetheless It's just that market is not um, Going It's not healthy right now So if you're If napapako na po kayo uh, I will strongly recommend you just average down on good companies uh, as long as they're doing well. Right? Okay naman yan as long as the companies are doing well. Um, or, there's a video that you can use that I have uh, how to average down without adding funds that's gonna be very helpful for you also. Okay, now, um, ayun, meron pala akong, ano. Right, so, uh, let's continue muna. Alright, um, Let's go to the topic, right? The topic for today is the art of doing test buys. How do you test buys to confirm your positions? Especially if you're bottom picking, this is very important. Uh, bottom picking means, ito yung mga nanghuhula tayo na reversals. We are trying to test if these are the bottoms already on a stock. I have a video about bottom picking, how to look for stocks na possibly nagre-reverse na. For example, what we did with Beyond when, we, uh, when I recommended Beyond, the, tra the strategy here is bottom picking. So I think this is the bottom of Beyond already. That's why I recommended it a few days ago. And there it is. Yesterday, lumipad siya to ng 12%. Right? So this is the art of bottom picking. Oh, sorry. <laughs> and so, and so Beyond recommended it here on the support a few days ago. And then, there it is. Lumipad siya ng 12%. 12%. 12.47% last night. So that's those are amazing wins. If ever nag-leverage pa kayo, mas matindi pa ang panalo ninyo. For sure, uh, kung nag-times 2 lang kayo, magiging 24% ang gains nyo. So these are these are very big gains already. Um, this is bottom picking right here. And then, anag, um, part part 1 pa lang yan, paghahanap ng stocks na nagbo-bottom out. Right? Uh, so together with this, we recommend eh, si Picor, na bottom pick rin natin si Picor. We were able to win this much kay Picor when I recommended it um, because of that. And yesterday, I, I, IDC, I recommended IDC the past few days. And then there it is. IDC is starting to go up already. IDC was one of the biggest winners for yesterday. And I recommended IDC here on this green. Remember? Um, isa yan sa mga recommendations ko the past few days. And there, there it is. Umakit na si IDC. And this is bottom picking. What I'm teaching you is picking bottoms. ba? So that's the first part of the skill that you need to learn. I have a video about that bottom picking. Please search for it. Um, number two is how do you do entries on bottom picking, which is what I usually say, which is test buy. Yan yung pag-uusapan natin ngayon. Mag-test buy lang muna. Test buy, test buy, test buy. Right? So that's what we're going to be talking about. So mga nag-join na ng seminars ko, 
Right, you can, you already know about this. All right, I know you know already about this because this is the part of my seminars. Um, speaking of the seminar, and um, pakitikim ko po sa inyo ang isang part sa seminar. This is a very juicy part of the seminar that I always have. That's why magjoin po kayo sa susunod. All right, so uh, going so, right. So I always tell you this during my seminars. Pyramid your way up. Pyramid your way up, meaning unti unting pag akyat lang dapat sa stocks especially when we're trading okay never go all in do not go go all in wag po kayong mag all in right sa pagibig lang <laughs> wag dito sa stocks wag po mag all in right um number one reason why you never go all in remember we are doing bottom picking for example yung pick natin na si IDC which won yesterday um recommended it on the screen it took two days for it to rally up Right? So, congratulations sa pumasok ng green. But then again, remember, we are doing bottom picking. In trading, the trend is your friend. Okay? The trend is your friend in trading. And if you look at the trend right now, is this your friend already? Diba? Anong trend ang kaibigan mo? Post it in the comments, anong dapat ang kaibigan mo na trend? Diba? Sabi natin, the, the trend is your friend. Anong trend ang best friend mo? I'll give you five seconds. You should know about this already. Diba? Ang gusto natin is an uptrend. Diba? So, the trend is your friend, especially sa PSE. Sa, sa international market, pag downtrend, pwede ka naman mag-short. Pwede mo rin kaibigan si downtrend. Basta as long as my trend, you can use that to your favor. Dito sa PSE, since we're, we're starting in PSE, our only friend in PSE is the uptrend kasi doon lang tayo kumakita. And right now, what you're seeing on your screen, hindi pa po ito uptrend, right? This is on a, a downtrend right here and then it went sideways on a very short term, right? Wala pang uptrend dyan. So, because it's not yet an uptrend, hindi pa natin kaibigan yan, we do not put money in it. Um, not Meaning, we do not put mo big money in it. Right? We don't have to be aggressive on it because it's not on an uptrend. Right? So that's the thought of it. Do not go all in. Do not put large amounts here yet because it's not yet our friend. Okay? Mamaya na tayo maglalagay ng malaking pera if uptrend na. So that's how you play with trends. Yun po ibig sabihin ng the trend is your friend. So you go aggressive if it is already on an uptrend. Right? So... Um, going back to the slide, right? Don't go all in. This method, yung ituturo ko po sa inyo, will gradually increase your profits while not increasing your original risk. Okay? So, ayan po. Um, this will gradually increase your profits while not increasing your original risk. Ang ganda pakinggan, di ba? Yung profits mo, steadily umaakyat. And while not increasing your original risk, hindi lumalaki ang risk mo with this method. Okay? I'll teach you how, right? Um, ito lang, a little note on the side. Move your stops to recent supports. I'll explain to you that in the graph that I'll be showing uh, today. Ayan. So, ganito po yan. Right? Mag-high tech tayo, ha? Um, new. Okay. So, this is how it should look like. Right? Um, I don't know if you can... Bahala na yung camera basta as long as makita niyo yung ginagawa ko. So, basically... This is what a trend looks like, diba? Sideways, then uptrend. Right? So, this is how usually a trend looks like. So, what you do with this process, I'm gonna be teaching you is on the supports or on reversals, for example, nag-downtrend dito, nag-sideways na, we have a confirmed support right here. Sabi ko, buy na kayo dyan. So, what you do is, for example, you have a budget of 100,000, 100K. Just just for an example, right? It could be, depende sa inyo, siguro ang budget ninyo, let's say $10,000 or uh, $1,000. So, you divide nyo lang po yan. What I usually do is I divide it into three, okay? Um, 30K, 40K, then 30K. Others will also go with 20K and then 50K and then 30K. Others naman, mga nasa 20, uh, 60, then 20. So, 
percentage lang yan. Pwede nyo po i-percentage yan. Kaya 100k yung linalagay ko is because of the percentage. So, pwede mong 30%, 40%, and 30%. So, it's a total of 100%. So, I'm just using 100k for easier uh, division. Okay? So, whatever you use there, it's up to you. It is up to preference. I hear, I hear yung nag-join ako sa ano, yung nag-join ako sa Investor, Investor Summit, isa sa traders doon, he uses 20k, 50k, then 30k. So, it's, ito yung ginagamit ng iba. Uh, what I do is 30k, 30k, 30k. So, it's up to you. Right? So, going back to the trends. So, here, at this point, it's already, uh, we think it's a reversal. Andun na, yung, uh, andun na yung technical analysis natin saying RSI is already good. It has already a support. And I think it's gonna go up. So, what we do is we test buy. Do not go all in. So, using my example, 30, 40, 30, what I usually do is I I buy the 30% here. 30k lang. Do not go all in. Okay? Again, it's not yet your friend. Hindi mo pa kaibigan yan. So, do not put money, ma big money in it yet. It's not yet time to go aggressive. Now, if it goes on a breakout and it's a higher high already, right? So, meron na tayong signal of a higher high. Previous high, na this is the current high. This is a higher high already. Okay. So what we do now at this point, this is a this is a possible uptrend already. Meron na tayong higher high. So we wait for the pullback. Sorry. We wait for the pullback, which is this one, and then the bounce. The bounce is the confirmation that the stock now is on an uptrend. A trend na ito. Right? What do we look for on an uptrend? Higher highs and higher lows. Now this right here. Is already on an uptrend. And if the stock is already on an uptrend, kaibigan na natin yan. And kung kaibigan na natin, we can now go aggressive on this asset. So if it's not, because it's now on an uptrend, we I will put in the 40K here. Right? 40K there. Right? And then, ride the trend again and then if ever we get another pullback and another bounce that's a further confirmation of the uptrend and then there is this is the only time i go all in and hopefully the trend takes us on a long trip uh ganyan po ang nangyayari sa mga international market for example si apple aapl right si apple ayan so dito during this during this um during this instance right here um, meron na tayong possible reversal. Okay? Diba? Nakita nyo po yan. Uh, from this point, there's a possible reversal. Let me just um, hide this one. Okay, so at this point, we have a good bounce right here. And MACD at this point is already showing us that it's starting to converge. It already reached RSI which is already uh, oversold. So this is possible reversal area already and we have a strong confirmation right here. Diba? Ay, sorry. Uh, dapat. Uh, nope, nope, nope. Ayan. So, here. Uh, this is Apple's chart. Pasensya na. Um, I'm using multiple screens kasi uh, just to be able to uh, just to be able to show this to you. Really care. So, here, we have a we have a possible bottom scenario right here. I recommended Apple right here. Hindi ko lang nabili kasi napuno ni assets ko. But here is a possible reverse. Ay, hindi pa ito. Noon pa ito eh. Right? So, here's a possible reversal. RSI is already a buy. MACD is starting to show that it's already a buy. So, we have a buy already. So, if you do test buy here, and then we wait for the pullback, and then there's the pullback and bounce, and then there it is, the mga MA20s na yan. So, this is where we buy more, and then there it is. Okay? And then you should be able to ride this trend right here. These trends right here. Diba? So, napaganda na scenario na yan. Hindi nyo muna, hindi kayo muna, muna mag-aggressive mag kasi hindi pa natin alam kung magre-reversal. But if you go already all in during these points, and then there it is, umaakit na naman siya, and you should be able, you should have been able to ride that trend right there. Okay, so, con going, go uh, continuing on the positions, right, nope, not this one. So, hindi pa ako tapos dito. So, this is where I go all in right here now you can uh what what i mentioned earlier that it slowly increases your uh, gradually increases your profits and uh will not increase in your original risk but kasi ganito po yon so here number 1 we have now the momentum on our side 
the uptrend momentum is on our side so we can mas malaki po yung chances of winning natin already because the trend is our friend already right that's number one number two is um here on the positions so from this point to that point you are already gaining and from this point to that point you are already gaining it's a slow uh, mas mabagal yung glow, uh, gains niya compared kung nag all in ka dito pero mahirap po yan i'll explain to you later bakit mahirap po yan uh, but then again this is the point so it's slowly gra it's gradually increasing your profits while not increasing your original risk why i mentioned earlier you have to move your stops uh, you have to move your stops to the recent supports, di ba? Uh, so, going back to our uh, diagram. So, here, if you do test by here, then our cut loss should be around negative 3 below support. Negative 3% below support, that is where I usually do my cut loss, di ba? So, your cut loss here. Now, if you buy more here, if the moment you buy more here, wag nyo nang aala, uh, wag nyo nang isipin yung previous ninyo na support this should be your new support right if 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 the positions go below that then sell everything may gain pa rin kayo from this point to that point mag ma, kahit anong mangyari okay so you you use this as support and then because that's our support we we cut loss negative 3 below that position okay same here uh, this is our new support if you go all in here and this is our new support negative 3% Below that is our cut loss. So our original risk of 3%, 3%, 3% never increases. Right? Plus, you have the momentum with you. So it slowly g gives you gains and doesn't increase your original risk, which is just 3%. Ganun lang. So this is the advantage of it. So now you can, uh, pwede nyo po i-modify ito. What I usually do is I sell, I sell 50% here. So example, uh, 50% jan from my 30k, I will earn mga around 17k. Yung 17k na yan, I will add to the 40k on my next buy. So most probably, I'm gonna be able to set, to buy 57k worth on my second buy, right? So it's this is the best time to go aggressive. So I usually what I or what I earn in selling half here, I add it to the 40k and same sell another 50% here, and then add it up to the 30k. Uh, to the all-in position. Kung magkano man ang nakuha ko dito, let's say may makuha ako dito na 30K, for example lang, so i-add ko yan sa 30K, so on my all-in position, I put 60K, and then cut loss below that. Okay? Overall, I'm gaining. Right? It's not about gaining big. Trading is about gaining. Hindi po about malakihan na gains. Right? It's about, about small small gains and um, doing the right steps at the right time. So, oh, you always wait for the trend. Okay? So, I'm gonna go back to the slide. Okay, so now, and advantage of this uh, strategy. Before I go to that, I'm gonna go to the comments. Uh, medyo mahaba ba itong discussion na ito? So, pag-usapan natin ito ng maayos. Thoughts on ISM, sir? No problem with ISM. Toto, um, magkaka... Patuloy pa rin naman <laughs> si ISM. Alright, paki-check, sir. Alamte, tignan natin maya. Shingai, Shani. Good morning, sir Lloyd. Forex, insights po. Sana kay Twitter. I'm gonna go back to your comments really quick. Alright, so thoughts on ISM, sir? Walang view ng chart. Sorry about that kanina. Alright, so AMD is your friend. Uptrend, Sir Lloyd. Tama. Alright, Sir Lloyd, question po regarding Itoro. Compounding po ba ang earnings kay Itoro kung may mag copy trade ako at iwan ko lang yung copy trade for one year? Yes, compounding po yan. Kasi yung gains usually, yung, for example, yung gains ko, I trade it again. Eh, trade ko po yung gains ko. So meaning compounding po yan. Alright, so depende lang yan sa traders nyo. Michael Masagka, good morning Sir Lloyd, watching from Dubai, God bless, good morning po sa inyo. Right, insights po ko sana yung Twitter, Forex, yan. Good morning Sir Lloyd, Picor at DMCI, pwede yung pasili po. Tingnan natin yan mamaya. Right, so, now let's continue. This method will give you flexibility in your trading. Flexibility in what? Right? Kasi sa trading kasi, if you don't apply the right strategy, makukulong kayo and you don't have anything to do, wala na kayong magagawa, so mag-long term na lang kayo, mag-open na lang kayo, mag na lang kayo sa mga Anong gagawin in the future? Because you don't know what you're doing. So, the trading strategy I always teach in my seminars is about flexibility, being able to do things, adjust, adapt on whatever happens. Right? So, this method, para po hindi ko yung makulong, this will give you uh, 
so much um, so much options on what to do in the future, right? Number one is in cutting losses. So let me discuss that. Going back to the iPad. Ayan. So it gives you advantage, flexibility in cutting losses. Right? I, I'm going to teach you, uh, let's discuss for a bit, at least a lesson about emotion. Okay? Um, for example, kasi ganito ang situation. Uy, meron na support, Sir Lloyd. Meron na support, ni-recommend ni Sir Lloyd to. And kung nag all in ka, for example lang ha, so I'm just giving a perspective. Let's say you go all in here, 100k. 100k, 100,000 pesos. Right? So, nag all in ka, 100,000 pesos. Remember, this is not yet your friend, hindi pa siya uptrend. Kung nag all in ka dyan, since hindi pa siya uptrend, mas malaki ang chance na hindi pa siya umakyat. Right? Kasi, unlike the uptrend, mas malaki ang chance na umakyat pag uptrend. Pero pag sideways lang, mas malaki pa rin ang chance na pwede siyang bumaba. Diba? So, here, when you trade, there all, you always consider the what ifs. What ifs, what if umakyat, then good, then what if bumaba, then that's the that's the hard part. Diba? It always happens. There's no certainty in trading. So, what if bumaba? So, let's say, um, negative... Um, Here's here's where you buy kasi may confirmation bounce na. So, total of our cut loss, negative 3 below support plus the distance here. So, let's say around 5% ang risk ko. Okay. So, I'm risking now um 5% of my 100k and then what if this, uh, the, the trade goes down and I have to cut my losses. What is 5% of 100k? That's 5,000 pesos, di ba? Now, I will ask you, right? Please post it in the comments. Is it easy to cut loss 5,000 pesos. Is it easy to throw away 5,000 pesos? Right? I'll give you 5 seconds. Post it in the comments, please. Madali lang ba mag-cut loss ng 5,000 pesos? You're, you're, you're trading 100K and then na, natalo tayo and then your system is telling you to stop, uh, to cut your losses. Question is, is it easy to cut our lo uh, uh, to cut 5,000 pesos? Right? So, we're get getting results right now. Um, Okay, so please post it in the comments. So, yeah, advance lang ako ng konti. Usually, in, during my seminars, mix ang answers because we do, we have different situation. May mga traders na okay lang sa kanilang 5K, uh, i-cut loss. Merong iba, especially the newbies, mahihirapan sa 5K. Sayang pera. Um, yung capital ko, 50,000 lang, tapos 10% mawawala, 5K. Or 100K lang ang capital ko, 5% mawawala kaagad sa capital ko. That's very big. I'm throwing away 5K. Diba? But majority on my seminars, ang answer is, it is hard to cut your losses. Right? No po, 5K loss, masakit. Right? For a beginner trader, it's hard to cut 5K. It's not easy, hindi po. Right? So, see, we're getting answers na masakit ito. Right? Now, that's the problem because our trading system says, cut your losses, but our emotions now is telling us, masakit. Ang sakit ang 5K. And so, that's why the newbies do not cut their losses. Okay? So, newbies do not cut their losses right here. Okay. But, if you apply the right strategy, which is, which is test by, which I tell you always to do. So, for example, now, you only do 30K here and buy 30K there. And then, same situation, since same scenario, we lose 5%. So, ngayon, sa 30K na tinest by natin, we only lose 1,500 pesos. Our system is telling us to cut our losses and we're losing 1,500 is it easier now to cut your losses with 1,500 pesos, right? Again, we're losing. Our trading system is telling us to cut our losses. Can you cut your losses now, right? So, please answer it if you can, right? You will see the difference. <laughs> Says Jim Morales, 5K today, then tomorrow down again, 5K loss. Right? So, yeah, mahirap, di ba? So, but then again, now, now, we are now seeing 1,500. Medyo okay na po yan, sir. Kaya na. So, you see, now we are able to follow our system. So, this is the flexibility that it gives you. You should be able to follow your system in cutting cutting losses because you are um, losing minimal amounts. Again, we do not go all in because hindi pa naman siya uptrend. So, only go aggressive in at uptrend stock. So, it, ito yung unang mistake, unang mistake dyan eh. Diba? We went aggressive at the wrong time. Okay. Number two, kasi pag uptrend na yan at malaki-laki na ang pera mo, for example, dito na tayo bumili sa taas na, 
So if if ever we need to cut our losses here, we still have gains here. It's easier to cut loss kasi wala tayong losses. Overall, we still uh we still what do you call this? We still gain. So if we need to cut our losses here on our second entry at hindi nagtuloy yung uptrend, we cut our losses here. It's easier to cut loss also because overall meron na kayong gains diyan from this point to that point. Diba? And then, nagsa-sell half pa tayo dito sa taas. We, we sell 50% dito sa taas. So, overall, now here on the second cut loss level, madali lang mag-cut loss kasi may gains na tayo dyan. Actually, nag-sell half na nga tayo dun sa taas eh. So, we are trading on a gain already. So, it's easier to cut loss here. See? Um, just do test buy. This is very important for you. Uh, this is the flexibility that it gives you. It's easier to cut loss. It's easier to follow your system this way. So that's one of ad the advantage of uh, following, uh, doing test buys in cutting your losses. It's a lesson. It's also a lesson about emotion. Okay. So next flexibility that doing test buy gives you is averaging down. Right. Gives you the uh, flexibility of averaging down. How? All right. I'll show it to you also. All right. Time check. It's nine zero eight. So. Yeah, today we're going to be uh tingnan natin ang market but I think market is going to be dropping. Uh foreign investors are going to be going out. So, let's not be too aggressive in the market. That's why this week is uh, intended ko po is lessons lang muna tayo sa daily grind. Not too much on the stocks and trading cuz it's a very uncertain market and I don't like trading in the, in an uncertain market. So, manghuhula tayo diyan, nagsusugal na tayo diyan and I don't want to gamble in the stock market. So, in averaging down so here is an example, same scenario. Uy, meron tayong buy position. Uy, ni-recommend ni Sir Lloyd ito yung itong stock na ito. And then kasi si ni-recommend ni Sir Lloyd, let's go all in. Right? For example lang, nag all in kayo diyan. Okay? There are stocks kasi in eh, in the market na if ever malugi kayo, okay lang. Kasi you know that this stock is going to be good in the future. For example, si Jollibee, malugi kayo. Okay lang. Because I know this stock is going to be recovering in the future. SMPH, especially. SMPH, one of my favorite. Or BDO. Kung malugi kayo, um, uy, nakalagay ako ng pera, malaki-laki dito, at nalugi siya, okay lang. Right? Okay lang. Kasi I know that this stock is going to go up in the future, so hindi ko nalang ikakat loss, sayang yung pera. There are situations like that. Especially in blue chips. I do that uh, on my blue chips kasi alam ko naman na I can always average down in the future. ba? But, why can I average down? It's because I don't go all in. Ang problema kasi pag nag-all in kayo, um, look at the screen right here. So, if this goes down, and you this was your supposedly cut loss, ayon yung mag-cut loss, kasi malaki ang talo nyo kasi nag-all in kayo, sabi nyo, ay, sayang ng 5K, ay eh, maganda naman yung company na ito, baka mag-recover naman yan in the future. Which is what usually happens. Nag-recover naman ng company, especially good companies, di ba? Okay naman tong company na ito, so hindi ko nalang ikakat loss. And I'm gonna suffer the losses. For example, nangyari kay Jollibee, bumaba ng bumaba, di ba? So here, and now Jollibee starting to go up. Right? For example, SMPH. SMPH lang. Nangyari to kay SMPH dati. Napakababa ni SMPH. Nung, nung nasa baba na si SMPH, kinulit ko kayo ng kinulit uh, para... Let's check out SMPH para bilhin si SMPH. And ngayon, nag-all time ay si SMPH, di ba? So, nung nagbabagsakan si SMPH dito, kinulit ko kayo, pasokin nyo po yan. Nung bumagsak si SMPH dito, kinulit ko ulit kayo, pasokin nyo po yan. And we were able to win, right? Before, meron mga tao na mga pumasok dito. This was a support right here, di ba? May support dito, eh. May support. So, buy tayo dyan. Tapos, nag-fail yung support. So, hindi natin kinat loss. Kasi SMPH naman yan eh, in the future baka umakyat. And true enough, on the next support, uh, umakyat naman siya. So, nakapag-recover tayo. So, this is the scenario that I'm showing you right now. Let me go to uh, let me go to my iPad. Oh, to, sorry. So, eto eh, sorry. Wala na naman chart kanina. So, um, ulitin ko lang. So, dito si SMPH, what if pumasok kayo dito on this support and then nag-fail? Hindi kayo nag-cut loss dito because meron, um, it's a good company. Alam naman natin na magre-recover yan. So, this is the scenario I wanna show you. And then, true enough, nagbumalik naman si SMPH at nag-all-time high uh, the past few days. ba? So, hindi natin kinat loss dito kasi alam natin blue chip naman yan at maganda naman yung company na yan. So, let's go to, okay, but this is the same scenario. So, we needed to cut our losses here but since maganda naman yung company niya, SMPH naman yan. So, okay lang. So, hindi natin kakat loss. True enough, nag-bottom dito and then, nag-recover naman siya 
in the future. So, ang problema nito, yes, naka-recover ka, 0% ka ulit, you lost, uh, nawala yung losses mo, and you recovered with 0%. Um, the problem is, we don't know how long this will recover. It can take one year bago bumalik sa taas. It can take two years, maybe three years para bumalik sa taas. The problem is, you have 100k na natutulog for one year. That's bad trading. Yes, nawala yung losses mo at least, but that's bad trading right there. So, in instead, what if ganito ang ginawa mo? Let's go to Eraser. Right. So the reason why I don't want you to go all in because is because of this. So 30k. What if mag test buy lang tayo dito? And then bumagsak si SMPH, we are on our cut loss level and sabihin sabihin ko ay plano ko naman mag long term kay SMPH talaga. Hindi ko na lang ikakat loss. So I'm just going to wait for the bottom to happen. Right. So bottom is happening right here. So kanina meron tayong 100k. And then we have 30k, 40k, 30k using my division, using the allocations that I use. So what I usually do is, pag may support na, for example, okay, SMPH, this is the major support, I can use my other 30k, I already used this one, I can use my other 30k here to average down. So this pulls my average more than half, kasi mas marami yung mabibili ko, and same amount, 30k. So andito na yung average ko ngayon. Now, pababayaan ko na yan. I still have 40k in my budget for this one. I will wait for the stock to go on an uptrend. Now, it's on an uptrend. We have a higher high and a higher low. It's time to go aggressive. I will use the 40k here so that whenever it goes back, if ever it goes back to my same position, kung dati, kung nag-all in kayo, 0% lang kayo dyan, we are now on positive gains already because of this strategy. Okay? You're more flexible this way. Pag naipit ka, you can do something. Hindi yung pag naipit ka, ay, close ko na lang yung port ko, uh, balikan ko na lang a few, few months for in the future. Right? Dito, kasi test buy lang ang ginawa mo, you have the option to look wait and wait for a bot another, another bottom and then average down and then go aggressive once it starts recovering. Right? This is a better strategy for you guys kaysa masayang yung panahon nyo. And this is the reason why ang daming newbies na uh, naiipit ng pera kasi nag-all in. Huwag mag-all in. Right? So, next scenario or next advantage. So, I hope that's clear. Bilisan ko lang. Right? So, erase everything. Okay. So, next advantage is in testing other stocks. Okay? This is one of the advantages also uh, of not going all in. Testing other stocks. Go to my um, drawing ulit. High tech, di ba? Seminars natin. Oh, sorry. Right. So, now, for example, this is a buy. Na recommend ni Sir Lloyd. Niya, tapos, um, nag-all in ka na naman. There are situations na. Ito kasi, guys, I'm, the, the strategies I teach you is always taking... Um, always thinking about the what ifs and dito kasi yung what what and dami kasi what ifs sa trading eh. and i always make sure na what if this happens i have an option what if this happens meron akong option and what if this happens dapat positive ang scenario uh, positive positive ang scenario mo so all the what ifs i already covered up in my seminars that's why i really really want you to join the seminars all right so 100k what if dito now what if umakyat then good but what if matulog yan? That's another what if. Kanina, what if bumaba? We know what to do. We can cut our losses because tas by lang tayo. If bumaba man and we have the option to just average down, we still can do that because tas by lang ginawa natin. Now, here's another what if. What if hindi gumalaw at matulog ng matagal? This can take three months. Three months bago gumalaw. What if hindi nga gumalaw eh, ba? Si sila Heaven hindi na gumalaw, sila v, uh, sila uh, sila VLL hindi na gumalaw. What if gano'n ang mangyari, hindi na gumalaw for how many ano, for how many months, even years, ba? So natulog ang pera mo 100k din. Right? Now here, ang problema diyan, if naka all in ka, you're going to be frustrated. Emotions are going to be running high on you. So here, natulog ang pera mo 100k and then Sa so next na daily grind, um, hula, si Sir Lloyd, may nirecommend na naman na bagong stock. And sobrang ganda ng stock na ito. Gusto ko itong stock na ito. 
wala akong magagawa kasi yung 100k ko naipit dito. But if ever um yan, um naipit diyan. And then problema pa diyan pag nag-uptrend na ito because your emotions are very high kasi all in ka. Uh may inggit ka na dito. So ang inggit ngayon is napakatindi. The frustration, the 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 envy is gonna be there. I tell you, totoo po 'yan. And then so ang gagawin mo Hala, uptrend na siya. Sabi naman Sir Lloyd, buy more na. E natutulog yung position ko. Ang ginagawa ng mga tao, binibenta ito at ibibili dito ang 100K niya. Okay. So, pag ginawa mo kasi yan, ang mangyayari ng st- sa stock, pag the moment you sell this, saka naman siya lilipad. The moment you buy this, saka naman siya bumabagsak. <laughs> That's the curse of the newbie. Kung kailan mo binibenta, saka naman umaakyat, saka kailan mo binibili, saka naman bumabagsak. <laughs> Pero that's usually the case. Uh, it's just a funny scenario. But that's not always what what happens, di ba? But that's a possibility. And then, because you, you you went all in, your emotions are doing the, your emotions are doing the decisions for you, you tend to do uh, the wrong things, the wrong decisions. And this can happen to you. Okay? So now, what if, Here's another advantage. What if Right. So what if 30k lang ang binili ko? Uy, may support dito. Test buy ako, 30k lang. Natulog siya ng isang buwan, dalawang buwan, tatlong buwan. Sige. Um I always give my positions maximum uh, maximum tolerance, maximum patience. So, as long as hindi ma-hit yung cut loss ko, hindi ko po binibenta yan. Kasi, yun nga, pag binibenta ko, maakit eh. So, hindi ko binibenta muna. Right. So, what this does is, I have now the option to test by other stocks. So, for example, a few months a few months forward, hala, may maganda news itong company ito, ni-recommend ni Sir Lloyd, and pwede kong bilhin. I still have the option for my other funds. So, since 30k lang nabili ko dito, meron pa akong 40k and 30k, I will test by this Also, test buy, no, nothing aggressive because support pa naman yan, hindi pa naman uptrend. Ngayon, I have now position on both assets. Okay? Ang mangyayari ngayon, magkarera kayo. Kahit pa sinong lumipad sa inyo, panalo ako. ba? Diba? So, what if this stock goes on an uptrend first? I can use my other 4K, 40K to go aggressive on this. Hindi ko pa rin ibibenta ito. Right, I will not sell that yet. And then, ayun, um, unahan na sila. 40k na ako dito. And then, if ever this gives me a further confirmation of an uptrend and ayaw pa rin gumalaw nito, now I have the option to sell this and then put it here to go all in. Now I'm taking advantage of the trends. I have flexibility on what I do. Right? This is an advantage of doing test buys, right? This gives you so much flex, so much flexibility in your trading, and I hope you understand the concept of doing test buys. This is our lesson for today. <laughs> This is what I teach in my seminars. Um, we don't have a scheduled seminar right now, but if ever, uh, gusto niyo po na, um, if ever gusto niyo po na. Maka join sa seminar ko. I have recordings on my seminars. Uh, send me a message in Financial Freedom 101 so I can give you the details on how to join it. It's gonna be very priceless for you guys. Uh, usually, pag may nag-sponsor sa seminars ko, napapalibre ko ito. Uh, but if you want access to it now, I can give. I, I usually give so much discounts. Halos libre na po yung mga binibigay ko seminars sa inyo. So you can access the full video of the Trading Masterclass. It will teach you a lot and the basics at the very least basics to advance so that you can start trading already doing bottom picking and uh, bottom picking at the very least and position trading and then if you're already a member of that lahat ng mga members ko pinapa-access ko na sa day trading so if you want to move forward I have a video about day trading if you want to go short to day trading then that video the day trading video is for free uh, just create an eToro account using my link and dyan po sa video description just send me your account name and then we'll check it out if once i verify that it's under me your affiliation link then you can access the day trading seminar uh for free okay so but if you want to join it and ayon yun ng free pwede kayo mag donate <laughs> dito so you can send me a message also to gain access of the of the seminars 
Okay, so that's our lesson for today about um, the art of doing test buys. This is the beauty of doing test buys. Uh, so in the future, in your trades, wag pong mag-all in, please. Very applicable, right? We also teach this in the day trading. So this is very applicable in day trading also because what we do in day trading is we buy here, get another position here, get another position here, get another position here. We do test buys, test buys, and then we just go aggressive pag uptrend na talaga. So, yeah, um, that is uh, that is how we do it in trading. If you have any questions, if you have any recommendations, if you have any gusto nyo video natin bukas or in the future, we want to talk about, post it in the comments. Right, I'm going to go to the comments. If we still have time, we're going to end in 9.30. If we still have time, uh, we're going to be, uh, what do you call this, uh, looking at charts really quick. But again, guys, I'm discouraging looking at charts right now. Market is uncertain. I don't like to trade in an uncertain market. Kaya po, makikita nyo po sa uh, itoro ko, sirado, um, wala po ako mga positions, nag short, nag test buy lang ako ng short selling for, uh, for Apple. Let's see if ever tama yung ano ko. If ever tama, then I'm gonna go aggressive and buy more. But for now, wala pa. Pwede na po, 1,500. Ayan. Um, let's go to the ano. Joseph Tanel, regarding sa topic, sa itoro po, pwede po gawin yan at kung mag show na po ng downside yung stock, pero, baka consolidation lang, pwede tumaas pa. So, tatlong buy all in. Alin po yung unang i-close to take profit in case? Test sell. Ang kagandahan kay Itoro, wala akong position ngayon ng multiple entries eh. If you have multiple entries, again, um, let's let's open Itoro. Um, may Itoro account. So, let's go to the, um, let's go to Bitcoin inst instead, right? So, testing natin sa si, so Bitcoin. So, I'm gonna go to my virtual portfolio. So, pakita ko po sa inyo. So, I already have one position, $100 kay Bitcoin. Let's say, I wanna buy Bitcoin again. Alright, so, I wanna buy Bitcoin. Uh, let's say, times one leverage. Let's say, another $100. Alright, so, open trade. And then, let's buy another one. Uh, times one leverage for under $100. Open trade. So, now, I should have three positions kay Itoro. Makita nyo po dito, 200 na siya. Lah. Hindi, na, hindi pumasok yung last. Uh, 100 100, open trade, open trade. So now it's 300 already. So I have three positions kay Bitcoin already. Okay, kagandahan dito is, all the positions, hindi tulad sa PSE na nag-average lahat, di ba? All the positions I have has specific gains and losses. So if ever yung isang position nyo ang losing, then yun yung i-close ninyo. So you have that option in eToro. Or you want to, if you want to, close everything, Pwede kayo bumunta sa portfolio and then just click on close. And then, I want to close all three trades that close it all. Pwede pong gawin yan. Okay? Um, pero again, you can see individual trades right here. So, if isang trade lang gusto mo i-close, pwede mo po i-close yan isa-isa. Joseph. Very good question. Junior Aquino, thanks for the knowledge. Very helpful. You're welcome. Jo Junior, ah, o kailan mo binibili bumabagsak? Kailan binibenta na? Tsaka nataas. <laughs> Sir, pasilip naman later in bloom. Thanks, alright. Let's check it out. Gap up ang MWC. The trend is my friend until it bends. Galing. Um, yes, I think uh, MWC is gonna be uh, going up in the future kasi they're bending to the government which is good for the, for them, for the company. Alright? Hindi sila ikaklose ni, ano, hindi sila ikaklose ni President Duterte. So, that's gonna be very good for them. Right? Jojo, salamat Sir Lloyd. Love you. Love you too. <laughs> Prince Sly, salamat ulit Sir Lloyd. Alright, thanks sa lesson coach. You're welcome. Uh, thanks Sir Lloyd. Alright, Reynald, morning Sir Lloyd. Add mo ako please. Hey, thanks. Dax Aseo, name ko sa Itoro. Alright, sure thing. Couple is si Dax Aseo. Nor Nori Awayan, thanks. Alright, salamat Sir Lloyd sa mga info. You're welcome. Alright, so uh, we still have time. We're gonna close, uh, we're gonna end the, uh, ano, um, we're gonna end the discussion at 9.30. So, if wala na questions, Alright, let's go to your request kanina. ACB and AAL, sir. Is it the time to buy ACB? No. ACB. ACB. Sorry. Aurora Cannabis. Alright, so... Is it time to buy? Nag-ano na to yun? Nag-bottom out na to si Aurora Cannabis eh. Right, so Aurora Cannabis, meron tayong divergence. If we have a support right here, if it goes green, then I would say yes, test by ACB already. Right, uh, this is very cheap already. We have already reached RSI levels na napaganda, pag, paganda na yung RSI niya, meaning mag, mas konti lang na nagbebenta. Um, yeah, this should go up. Uh, just do test by nga lang. Right, AAL. 
American Airlines um I want to stay away from American stocks right now. Um magulo ang stock market especially the index nila. I want you to short these guys. I don't want you to go to go against the trend. Pag nag-downtrend ang ang US index, magda-downtrend din yung ibang stocks. Mahirapan kayo. So, stay put muna kayo with the international stocks as much as possible. So, for this kinds of situation, bottom picks are the best or kung gusto kung kaya niyo po magbodega, magbodega lang. Um, this is the major support of AAL, diyan ka pumasok. Um, Google, Baidu. Si Google naman, uh, time to Time to start, ano? Um, possible nga, ano eh? Possible nga, i-short sell nyo ito eh. May red na tayo dun sa taas. I don't, we don't have any confirmation of a short sell. Confirmation of a short sell is a lower high. But right now, with the with the events, I can speculate, pwede nyo po ito short sell. Baka hindi na magtuloy-tuloy ang trend nito. Okay? I don't want you to go get, uh, to go with Google. Kasi masyado mataas na po yan. Nakalipad na po yan. Tingnan nyo, all-time high yan. So, that's not a good trade right there. So, stay away from it. Uh, si Google, si Baidu naman. Uh, kaparehas ng name ng pusa ko, si Bidu. Right, si Baidu, siya dumataas na. Right, wait for the pullbacks if you really wanna trade. Right here. I mean 20. That's where we enter Baidu. Beyond Meat, Beyond Meat, masyado mataas na, nakalipad na. Noon ko pa ni-recommend yan. I recommended Beyond Meat on this green. Nakataas na siya ng 12% ngayon. So, let's just wait for the pullback and bounce. Pag nag-bounce yan, then at least dyan tayo pumasok. But right now, it's already up. So, we have a question about JFC. Kamustayin natin si JFC. Bagal ng market, I tell you. So, JFC is bouncing at MA20. It's just that the market right now is very uh, it's very low. So, at least man lang kung mag-break out ito, uh, that's a good entry for JFC. I don't want you to... Um, I think market is gonna be dropping uh, for today because of the uncertainties abroad. I could be wrong, pero I don't wanna I don't wanna look at the market today. So, stay put. For me, pullback si ISM. This is a good pullback. Um, yeah, pwede na ito. I think this is good for... I actually see si ISM kasi for long term. I have a mindset of long term kay ISM. So medyo biased ako dito. Same to long term. So what I what you can do is this is a pullback and this is a bounce. That's a support right there. For if you want to go aggressive, if you want to trade this, then that is a good entry. We are at MA20 and then just cut loss below that kasi wala nang lapit ng support. So you can average, you have the option to average down and then use this as your major support and cut loss dito sa baba for ISM. Um Starbucks S box, S box. Wait for the breakout. Can lose ko na si ano ko si Starbucks ko. We entered Starbucks here to bottom. We were able to gain Starbucks. Sinarado ko na ang tindahan ko sa Starbucks because of the impending war. Baka mag pull back si Starbucks and it should recover. Eh, kahit na magkagera sa Starbucks sa Pilipinas, may Starbucks pa rin naman. Um, magkagera sa Amerika sa Pilipinas, umiinom pa rin ng Starbucks sa mga Pinoy. So yeah, aakit rin yan in the future. We just want the market to stabilize. And then we that's when we try to uh to play with the stocks again. Ali BDO MBT um Ali right time check it's 9 30 so last night. Uh Ali dropped down yesterday. We do we are on a major support for Ali, but this is uh, this is too aggressive for me. I don't wanna check out Ali for the meantime, especially na nasa ano siya, nasa, what do you call this? Uh, index natin siya. Um medyo laki ng Ay, ano, gap down pala siya. So, BDO also doing gap down. Nag-open na pala ang market. So, we're seeing gap downs in the market. This is what I'm saying. So, let's look at PSEI. Uh, I'm expecting PSEI to drop today because of the war. So, please stay away from the market. Ayan, PSEI, gap down. L laki ng gap down. This was the closing yesterday. Gap down ka agad. So, yeah. Stay away from it. Um, MBT also, bumabagsak siya ngayon. So, stay away from it. Market. Not the time to go aggressive, right? The trend is your friend. Hindi pa oras para maging aggressive today. So, you've already seen the market opening. Stay uh, careful with the market. That's it for today. Tomorrow, um, may nakalista ako dito ng mga topics natin eh. Um, tapos na tayo sa test buy. Maybe we can talk about SAR. It's isang indicator ka na ginagamit ko for tomorrow. Right, so that's what we're gonna be talking about today. So, abangan nyo po another lesson for trading for tomorrow. That's it for today. I'll see you again tomorrow. And as always, let's get rich together. Good night. Uh, goodbye, everyone. Enjoy your day. Um, hopefully, nakapag subscribe na mo kayo. Please like my, my Facebook page and follow it. And also, you, or subscribe to my YouTube channel. This video is going to be uploaded there also for replays. Bye, everyone.